in Australia. You can make yourself whatever you want to be as long as you're prepared to work for it. G'day, my name is Len Fong and this is my story. I don't look like a stereotypical miner out there digging up or wearing a high-vis shirt. My role is delivering the right information to senior management to make the right decisions for the best of the business. It's such a dynamic environment to work in um, and also it's global in nature. The mining life cycle isn't just about digging the dirt, putting it on a ship and then forgetting about it. You pretty much have to project producing something for 40 years. Most super funds, if not all, have mining stocks. You know, mining effectively helps every single Australian. And without a healthy industry, you know, you're not going to be able to get those kinds of returns. I'm, I'm Chinese, but I'm born in Vietnam. I came to Australia as an, as an orphaned uh, refugee. I stayed in a refugee camp in Cambodia for a couple of years. So we had to go across the Thai border and soldiers, they just opened fire randomly. And my parents were, were shot. Um, We've only got one family portrait of all five of us, and I've got that blown up, framed in the house, just as a reminder every day that, uh, yeah, that you know, that's what they sacrificed for me. I mean, he's a, a wonderful man, and wonderful husband and father. I think they'd be very proud. Of, I think they're looking down on him and with a big smile on their face. My upbringing is what really makes me passionate about everything that I do. Without mining, I wouldn't have what I have. I'd like to think that they'd be very proud of me.